I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I know why. I had a lot of coffee and not enough food. It always gets me really amped up and until I burn out. But I'm going to keep making videos because I have the energy right now. So I want to do an update on the Rolly 35S that I've got. Because I finally got a moment to shoot a roll of color film on this camera. And I loved the results. So I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. And we'll go to the computer. But I just want to say I shot it with some old expired Kodak. I'm going to go check what I shot it with. Ooh, looks like I got at least two rolls left. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's what I thought. I shot this with some expired Supra 400, and I don't know too much about this film yet. I've done some minor research, but what I found is it's it might be a very similar formula basically to Portra I think it may have transitioned into Portra if you guys look at the box here it does say professional on it Kodak professional this box was originally twelve ninety nine. I think it expired 2006 so 2006 twelve ninety nine. I think that's a five I'm guessing it's a five roll yeah five roll box 36 exposures improved color um what else do we know about it i don't know i'll tell you what i do know i love the look of this film at least how i've been developing and processing it i'm processing it in some expired chemicals i bought a tetanol kit i've been shooting i'm probably at about 16 rolls with the chemicals i mixed last and it's still coming out now you can push this for a while i don't know how long i think you can almost in depth I wouldn't say indefinitely but you can do it for a very long time because they just kind of need to watch them their asses basically and say they can't say oh you can do 20 rolls they actually say for best results dump the chemicals after every time you process so basically you would use uh, the chemicals to process one roll and that would be it um, obviously you wouldn't use a whole batch of chemicals you would use what's required to develop that one roll of film um, I want to share these photos with you guys because I really loved them. I love how they turned out. I got a lot of interesting tones. It, some of them almost have like a, it's like an earthy tone. Uh, and you guys will see, it's uh, like a lot of browns. I know that's a hard way, it's an interesting way to describe it, but I don't know how else to describe it. But I hope you guys like them. I really have loved shooting with this camera and loved shooting with this film. Uh, it's going to suck when I run out. It looks like I have two rolls left. Uh, I will say this though, a little photography hack for you guys. I bought, I don't even remember what camera I bought. I basically bought the camera for the film that was packaged in. So I may have spent like 30 to 50 bucks on a Canon A1, but I got a five pack of Super 400 and some other film and it made it worth it. In fact, 50 bucks for an A1 is really good. But I didn't really need it by, it wasn't for the A1. I really bought it for the film. Alright guys, shouldn't be banging around. I'm not like angry or anything. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy today. So, alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you guys are liking these videos, do what everyone tells you to do on YouTube. And like and subscribe and, and ring the bell or whatever that thing is. I know there's a thing. Alright, see you guys. <laughs>